This is the McDonald's of Disney World <laughs> restaurants. Hey everyone, welcome back to another Disney Dining Review. Today we are headed to Epcot to go to a restaurant that we've had reservations at multiple times, but haven't actually ever gone, which like. is... 20. <laughs> <laughs> Which is Coral Reef Restaurant. So uh, this one, I, you know, I'm excited to see the inside because you get to see that whole like giant aquarium that Epcot's uh, The Seas Pavilion has um, while you're eating. And I think that that's really cool. I've heard two things about this restaurant, that it's very dated and tired inside, but that it has a very good food. I'm excited about the menu. It's very, very small, which mm -hmm. I appreciate if they do everything well. Yeah. Um, and so I think it'll be pretty easy to figure out what we're eating here. They've got a couple of appetizers that look good. There's a crab dip that mm. looks pretty good for an Seafood appetizer. Seafood artichoke dip. That mm. looks good. Yes. Um, the mahi mahi looks good to me. That's what I was eyeing too. And then also like they've got some plant-based options. Like the, I love mushrooms and I love ravioli and they have a mushroom ravioli. And I was like, should I get that? Because I it's thought, at a seafood restaurant. As soon as I saw that, I thought you were getting that. Like I, <laughs> I thought that's Leslie's, that's what she's getting. I've got to get seafood. So I'm going for the mahi mahi. So we'll ask the server. We'll see what they recommend. If they, yeah. you know, strongly recommend something else. And then the key lime pie kind of looks good for dessert. Oh, it's one of my favorites. I am, I am weirdly excited about this restaurant. I hope, I hope, I hope it's good. I hope that we should have gone to all those reservations we've made many, many times. Like I even remember once, like back in 2014 or something, like actually walking up to the the uh, hostess stand and saying, we can like, we cancel our reservation? We cannot do this. Our children were like, uh. <laughs> they were just dead tired. They were falling asleep. So, um, so I'm excited to finally go here. Yeah, yeah. So um, what I'm not sure about is the cocktails. So it looks as though from the online Line menu at least that all of the cocktails are kind of the cocktails you can get everywhere on property so it's kind of that same old um, you know time and time again cocktails I don't know if this restaurant in particular has specialty cocktails just for them we will find out but we are almost late per usual Always. <laughs> we need to go like five minutes ago <laughs> are you ready yeah let's do it let's do this There's scuba divers in there. They're swimming around. That's really fun. So there were three specialty cocktails just for Coral Reef, one of which is the Coral Rita. Um, kind of looked like to run the ingredients that it's just a, like a normal margarita, but there's like something, there's a different flavor in there that I can't exactly place, but it's uh, it's a little smoother than just like a, like a regular margarita. And then our, um, appetizer came, which is the seafood dip, seafood and artichoke dip, and it actually looks quite delicious. And there's free bread. Ooh, there's like little chunks of seafood in there. Got some excellent flavor, the crunch of the bread, and then it's a nice seafood mix um, with like the cheese, and it's not like super duper thick. That would be maybe my one critique is that I might want it just a little thicker, not so soupy. So I got the, um, another one of the three that were special to this restaurant, it's the Rum Runner, or the Captain's Rum Runner. So it's obviously got Captain Morgan's rum in it. It's got a banana liqueur, or banana flavor to it. It kind of tastes like a, uh, like a, like a rum punch. Um, you know, nothing to write home about, but it's, it's refreshing. This came out super fast. Like this was pre-made back there, so hopefully it's good. I'm with you. It's got a good flavor, a little soupy, but the flavor is pretty pretty good. And for being pre-made back there, um, it's good. I got the mushroom ravioli. It comes in um, a lot of juice, 
uh, with like some cooked veggies and mushrooms on top. Um, so the raviolis are huge. You have to like mushrooms. I mean, obviously it's in the name, but the mixture of like the tomato juice with it, like the, the whatever that juice is that, that it's in, and then like the, the cooked like little cherry tomatoes, um, it's really good. It has a nice balance to it. I, I like this. This is tasty. I got the mahi, um, and so it comes on a bed of rice with a corn um, slaw, for lack of a better term. Oh, okay. And then it has a crema off to the side. So very much Caribbean vibes, Caribbean flavors here. Let's see how the fish is cooked. Flavors are good. Um, fish is cooked pretty well, borderline overdone, but not kind of like right there on the edge. I'd say not my favorite mahi, but not bad either. So maybe slightly above average. Okay, so we did get dessert today because honestly the portion sizes weren't super huge, uh, so we are not stuffed. We got the key lime tart, which we uh, we really wanted. I love key lime stuff. We both do. And it looks pretty good. So it comes with a meringue on top that's toasted and a few sprinkles on there. So let's see how this tastes. Sometimes key lime tarts and pies can be like overpowering, like make you pucker. That's not. I think it's the perfect amount of like that key lime flavor with that kind of sour, that, that acidity in there. And the meringue kind of balances it out pretty nice. I think this is the best thing that we've had so far today. Everything else has been pretty average. Like the temperatures of the food were, were they, they should have been hotter. The, the, the flavors were good, not great, not horrible. Like somewhere just right straight average. This is probably just just a, a slightly slightly better than, than the other stuff. All right, so I think we have enough information from our food and drinks and we are going to finish up here and close this out at home. All right, we are back. All right, we're gonna get all into this, but first, if you are looking to plan your next magical vacation, please reach out to us over at fantasticalvacations.com. We play in Disney destinations, Universal Cruise Lines, and all-inclusive resorts. Let's talk Coral Reef. Um, nah. <laughs> that's, that's how I sum it up. Just to kind of dig into each section here, right? So ambiance and theming, I feel like this is where it shines-ish. Um, so, I mean, you do have, it's, it's, the restaurant is tiered. And so everybody has a fantastic view of the, um, giant, um, aquarium, which is really cool to get to see. We saw sharks and stingrays and some weird combo stingray shark thing and fish and scuba divers and all kinds of things. Like, so that was really cool. Like that was, I feel yeah. like a, a, a big perk to the restaurant. Um, the downfall is it's, it, at the time that we were there, it was probably maybe 40% full, maybe 35, 35 to 40% full. And because of the tier, like where we were sitting, I could have, if there were people sitting there, I could have reached over and touched the people down below me. And so had somebody been sitting there, I think it would have been very distracting to, for both people to have somebody kind of just like right on top of them. Yep, so I think the aquarium is really the only reason to go here. It's not for outstanding food or anything like that. It's for the aquarium, but you can see the exact same aquarium from the other side at Sea Base. Um, so if you go to the- for free. Well, I mean, cost of theme park admission. <laughs> you can go into like the Sea Base area. So like Finding Nemo ride, it exits into that area. You can go see Turtle Talk with Crush. You can walk in through the gift shop. You can go that way. Um, and you can see all of this stuff. You can see the scuba divers, all of that from the other side. Um, and you don't have to eat this food. I will say that the ambiance for me, it was good, but not because they plan on it being that way. It was only good because it was 40% full. Yeah. And so had it been packed, then it wouldn't have been good anymore because you would have been crammed up in there like on those tiers. So I wouldn't have enjoyed where I sat today, um, but, but I did today because it's just not popular of a restaurant. And so I'm not sure that's a plus. So really for ambiance and theming, the only good planned part of it is the aquarium. So we give it a slight edge above average at a three and a half. Yep. All right, so service. Um, so our server was fine. I mean, he didn't do anything wrong, but he didn't do anything spectacular either. So, I mean, he was just, just 
100% average, which yep. um, I feel like is the theme of this restaurant for us. So um, so we gave him a three. Drinks um, were actually slightly below average. So they did have three specialty cocktails. We got two of the three similar to Boat Rights and similar to Boat Rights, um, they're just nothing special. So they do have a full menu of drinks, but they're the same drinks that you can get across the entire Disney World campus. Um, and it's just, it, it's not great. I would have rather just had my water. I actually forced myself to drink. I mean, it wasn't a bad drink. It's just not something that yeah. would have cost $15 anywhere else. Um, it was obvious that it was made bulk in the back. I'm sure they are back there with those specialty cocktails, <laughs> pouring it out of a pitcher or something like yeah. there's, um, if there was a, if there was a, if there was a actually trained mixologist back there, I would be shocked. I give it a two and a half. Food, I really, I, I kind of had high hopes here. There are literally six entrees on the menu. And I feel like if you only offer six entrees, you should probably be able to do all six very, very well. Um, and once again, it was just okay. I got the mushroom ravioli, which um, the flavors were really good, but the ravioli was like chewy almost. So it was like, it wasn't cooked at the right um, time, the right length. And um, I, I don't know, like it was fine, but not anything I would ever get again. Let's even back up before that. They do bring rolls to the mm. table with butter. The rolls are just standard dinner rolls. There's no special butter, no flavor to the rolls other than just a dinner roll. So kind of straight up average. Um, now we did get an appetizer. It was the seafood um, and artichoke dip. The flavor was very, very good, but it was 100% obvious that it was not prepared for us. Nobody's back there like, oh, here's an order, let's make this thing. No, it came out too quick and it was mm -hmm. very lukewarm. It definitely should have been hotter. It was obviously sitting under a heat lamp for some time, so they must prepare several of them, have them, have them sitting there or sitting in a warmer, just ready to pull out and go. I do appreciate the fact that it came out quickly, but at the same time, like, I mean, like to your point, this is a very small menu and there, the restaurant was 40% full, maybe less. I mean, there were yeah. empty tables everywhere. I don't, I don't appreciate the fact that they are um, pre-making these. And, and honestly, the entrees tasted like they were pre-made as well. Yeah. I don't know, I didn't go back and watch it. They didn't come out quite as fast, um, but- But for, mine wasn't super hot. Mine was not hot either for a $33 mahi-mahi that was not super huge. Like, I expected it to be better and it wasn't bad, the flavor was good, but it was not hot enough. It did not taste super fresh. It tasted like it had been cooked most of the way and then heated up to plate um, or sitting under a heat lamp for a little bit or something like that. Yeah. Like It was not something that was memorable or something that I would try to go out of my way to go back for. Even the key lime pie um, in the restaurant, Dan said that it was the best thing that we had gotten. And I agree with I still him. agree it was the best thing we yeah. had gotten. Um, I agree with him on the, um, it wasn't too sour. It had like a nice balance of flavor, but the crust part of the key lime pie was like soggy. Like it wasn't, um, it didn't have like that nice like crunch that you get with a good key lime pie. Again, probably so, because it had been pre-made and sitting in a cooler, um, yeah. ready to be just pulled out and handed to a plate. So. I just, I can't, I can't, I, I, for, for a restaurant, so our meal for the two of us with everything that you saw, two drinks, one appetizer, two entrees, one dessert, we did get a 10% discount on food because of our annual pass holders with tip was 130 something dollars, like $135. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't pay that again. Like I would rather take, I, for $135, I could eat anything I want to at, Fla at Festival of the Arts or Flower mm. and Garden or Food and Wine That's at all true. those booths, I'd have a better experience. So all that to say, like, I'm probably not going back here. Um, yeah. it, it wasn't, I wouldn't, if I had to eat here, if it was literally the only place, like we were talking, like if if I had to get a candlelight processional package, if this was the only thing available and I would not be happy unless I got a candlelight processional package, I wouldn't be mad at the meal here, but I wouldn't be blown away. I wouldn't yeah. go out of my way to eat here. Well, it is it is a little higher priced candlelight processional package, which is funny to me. I don't Weird. know. Anyway, um, I'm not sure if we ever said, but we scored food a three. So that overall, if you add all of that up, it comes out to be a straight 12, which is an overall three score for the restaurant, which is really where it kind of lands. Like it's just, it mm. is just very solidly average. Like if it's literally the only place that you have as an option, it's not it's not a bad option, but I'm I think that there's much better choices. This is the McDonald's of Disney World <laughs> restaurants. It is I mean, 
it's it is what it is. It's ubiquitous. It's it's average. It's 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 nothing to write home about. It's nothing that I would complain to a manager about. It is the most average restaurant we have reviewed out of all the restaurants. I'm I'm not I'm not upset with anything. Yeah. But but I'm on nothing not blown is away. great. Yeah. Um, straight up average. Yeah. Yeah. So there you have it. Um, if you are liking these videos, please hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss the next one. And we will see you on the next video. Bye.